In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to incorporate both Mistral AI 70B parameter model that just came out last week, as well as Llama 2's uh, 13B parameter model, all within this Next.js application. So this is a familiar look. You might recognize it as Claude's UI. So a couple months ago, I built out a clone of Claude's UI with a few nice little features where you can toggle between uh, different models Models. So if you want to use OpenAI uh, or if you want to use another model, I set up a number of different things within here where there's uh, embedding of text documents, uh, you can store them on Supabase. There's also uh, an implementation and some boilerplate for incorporating OpenAI functions if that's something that you're interested in. So I encourage you, if you haven't watched this video before, or um, if you don't wanna watch this video, I'd encourage you to at least pull down the repo and take a look at this. So this is going to be where I'm gonna be starting off to incorporate these features. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it here. So if I just say, uh, tell me a one line joke. So what this will do as I change the selector in the top left-hand corner here, these responses are actually being generated locally on my machine. And so one thing about my machine, so I don't have a, a M2 Mac or an M1 Mac or anything like that. I have an Intel-based Mac that's about two years old. Uh, it has 16 gigs of memory, so nothing fancy. So to get up and running with Olama, you simply need to go to olama.ai, download this. Once it's downloaded, it just takes a couple steps. And then from there, you can go ahead and go to their models page and decide which model you'd like to pull down and run locally. So in this example, like I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you Mistral as well as uh, Llama to 13B. So if you want to run it from the command line, you can just uh, simply run this. But essentially what we're going to be uh, doing under the hood is we're just going to be querying this inference server that we have locally for these endpoints. So what you can do is if you just pull down this repository, that's gonna be the starting off point for this video. And we'll just go through the steps here together. So the first thing that you're gonna do once you've um, downloaded the repository, just go ahead and uh, npm install or bun install, whatever you're using to manage your packages. And what you're going to want to do is at least update the Langchain version. So um, I can go into this repo and actually update it for you, but at time of recording, uh, I haven't done that quite yet. So just go ahead and install the latest version of Langchain because we are gonna be leveraging that on our backend. So the first thing that I did here is I just brought down a couple images for both the Llama model as well as the Mistral logo. So I just put those within the folder of all the other logos that we're using throughout the application, whether it's for the embedding selection or those actual model selectors in the top right hand corner. So once you have those, you can simply head over to your page and all that we're gonna be changing on our front end is the model selection array here. So within this, if you just simply add in uh, a couple more items within this array, so we're gonna add in Mistral, we're gonna have some alt text, and then we're going to have the source which points to our directory of images here. And then this model key here, now this is gonna be what we actually send to our backend, and this is going to be how our backend handles the condition of which model to use. So the thing with this is if we look at our UI, you're able to toggle back and forth. So say if you want to have a message with Llama and then go to uh, GPT 3.5, like it's set up with this OpenAI logo toggler here, I can just say, tell me a uh, one line joke. And then you'll see here, so this response here is GPT 3.5, whereas this one was uh, Llama 2. So if we just hop back here, um, that's all that we're gonna be doing on the front end portion. That's the only tweak that we have to make to incorporate new models. 
Now for the back end, uh, I broke this out, so I didn't want to change any of the comments of the original setup here. Um, I'm going to be going through just a handful of things that you need to set this up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import Olama from Langchain. So this was recently incorporated into Langchain directly. And what we're going to do is we're just going to declare a function. And what we're going to be doing here is so we're going to be declaring our Olama instance here where we're pointing it to. So by default, this is the port that it's listening on. And then the selected model is what gets passed in from the array here. So whether it's Mistral or Llama2. So once we have all of that, all that we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting it set up in a byte stream that we're ultimately going to be sending and iterating through and streaming to our front end. So a lot of this you can largely just ignore, but just know that that's what it's going to be doing. And the reason we have it set up as a function here is because we have the two conditions and we're just going to reuse that logic for both because there's just a couple uh, things that are different between them. So next, I didn't have in the original example pulling out the latest model above the condition that's outside GPT 3.5. So I'm just pulling out the latest message here and I'm just suspending that above all the different conditions. So you see we have our Claude 2 100K, we have our GPT 3.5 with all the different function calling, and then to add in others, all that we have to do is we're just going to add another uh, else if here, and we're gonna specify, so if the model that's selected is Mistral, what we're going to do is we're going to send that selected model to our function with the latest message. We're going to wait for it um, to do its thing. And then we're going to be streaming out that response to our front end. So that's essentially it. And the Llama um, 2 version is also going to be the same thing. So we're just going to have that function trigger all the logic that we need. And then we're going to be streaming that text response to the front end. And what we're going to be using for this streaming uh, text response is the Vercel AI library. So that's what we're uh, leveraging here to actually have that UI uh, iterate through on the front end. So that's pretty much it to implement these things. Uh, like I said, so what is uh, sort of nice about this is it does give you a really easy way to toggle between the models. So say if you want uh, to use Llama 2 for certain things and Mistral for other things and maybe GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 for things. This is just an easy way to get going. So I plan on adding to this project. I'm going to be doing uh, videos here and there where I iterate on projects like this. If you'd like to see other features that you've seen in other uh, applications, whether it's uh, Perplexity or Bing or Google or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to try and create open source versions of the different features that you're looking at setting up within your projects. But otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also consider becoming a subscriber on Patreon as well. Otherwise, until the next one.